bumblebee is under threat, which in turn threatens our own food crops. Here to help share how we can help preserve them is New Zealand Bumblebee Conservation Trust co-founder Jeff Brunston. Welcome to the cafe, Jeff. Good morning, good morning, and thank you. Thank you for bringing yeah. your bees in. So why are they so important, the bumblebee? Well, not many people realise, but the, the bumblebee was introduced into New Zealand. There's only four species of bumblebee we've got in this country, and, and it was introduced in the 1850s, the reason being to pollinate clover for the farmers then. And since then, they've really sort of paled a wee bit into insignificance. But they're one of our most important pollinators of food crops that we've got. They're a super pollinator, aren't they? <laughs> They're a super yeah. pollinator. So and, you're, and you're not taught this, really, at a younger age. Well, I haven't. So is this part of the drive for you? It certainly is, because they are iconic, aren't they? And we yeah. love them as such there. But when you start to discover some of their characteristics, they're fascinating. The bumblebee can carry up to 90% of its body weight in wow. pollen, for example. It's a huge right. amount of pollen. Speaking of pollen, well, you keep talking. I'm yes. just going to feed them. You told me I can put a teaspoon of this in, didn't you? You sure can. Great. Because that'll, that'll um, keep them going for them um, until they get released in a couple of days. Uh, well, take us through doomsday, then. What happens if we don't look after the bumblebee? Ah, that famous man Einstein said, without bees... Mankind has only got four years to live. Ooh, and okay. I've actually read a thriller about that. It's a bit, it essentially said the same thing. Right. It was a great thriller too, by the way. One, one in every three spoonfuls of food we put in our mouth is totally reliant on bees for pollination. One in every three. One in every three. Think about that. So if we didn't have bees, think of the crops that would be reduced and we wouldn't have. OK, so we know they're important. How are we supposed to help you out with this cause? OK, we've just got to realise that in our environment, we've been, mankind, is, doesn't matter whether you're in New Zealand or anywhere, has been hell-bent on uh, reducing our environmental landscape by taking out trees and taking out flowering crops, wildflowers, you call it what you may. So we're just trying to encourage people to plant flowers for as a resource, as a smorgasbord resource of food for preserving, conserving and increasing our bee population. Okay, so plant flowers. Am I meant to swirl that in there like you that? You are. Good. You can do that with your finger um, if you like. I just want to clarify, the bees don't live in this little plastic box, do no, they? No, 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 no. We're going to release them back in, into the environment in a few days. This time. is for demo that you take into schools it's and places like us. Sure. I love it. So, so good getting up close and personal yeah. with the bees. And so good learning about it too. So what should we be planting, yeah. things like this? OK, this is a fantastic time of the year to actually start planting flowers for the spring. You wouldn't think about it, but mm. autumn is a good sowing time okay. for wildflowers, for herbs, for all sorts of things in your garden. And, of course, this time of the year is great for spring bulbs. And we've got a variety over there. You can do daffodils, tulips, you can do hyacinths, you can do anemones, ranunculus, all sorts of things that will start flowering very early in the spring and that's important because that's when the queen comes out of hibernation and she's looking for food to actually nurture her young and to grow her colony. Mm. You said I can, I can tap this, it's not going to aggravate them, is it? No, 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 they just feel vibration and they'll just get a little bit sort of, hello, what's going on you, outside? You Someone wants to come them. in. Oh, they yeah, are yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Oh, Fixated with watching them. Uh, thank you so much for coming in and Pleasure. bringing your bees in. I can't stop looking at them. It's yes. incredible. Um, thank you so much. And if you would like to find out more or you would like to become a member of the trust you can head along to their website which is nzbct.org.nz yes be proactive and do you see what i did there yeah, yeah and start planting okay save the bee